Are you serious? I'm Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Me and Two Movie. Get your shit together, big home. Subscribe to the Big Facts Podcast. Welcome back to the most important show on this channel, the Ayo Nation Donation Conversation. Can I get a hand clap right there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hand clap. Audience hand clap. All right. Now stop. Um, Y'all know what it is. Y'all understand what the fuck we do over here. Um, to all my fucking patrons, we rocking. We rocking. Tomorrow I'm going to shoot the first episode of the Hallucination Chronicles. Um, it's going to be the... Um, First time I hallucinated, if you was out in last night's live, then I, you, you got the whole gist of it. But i shoot that tomorrow. I'm going to shoot the um, daytime version and the nighttime version. So as you can see, the trail I ran through, all the places I was at, and then you'll be able to also see what it looked like at nighttime. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it's going to be really exciting. After that, these are all Patreon exclusive series. Um, after that, we're going to have the um, police chronicles. I'm going to start chronicalizing all the times that I've had to run from the police, the, the fucking routes I ran and all kind of shit, just so y'all can see where I was at and shit like that. Um, so make sure you get to the Patreon. Of course, you know, we still got the uh, How Do I Identify Nothing Ass Bitch series over there. Uh, the next one is going to be How Do I Identify Nothing Ass Bitch by a Mother, um, and that's dropping this week also. So. Patreon is always going to be where it's at. Um, as far as this right here, I want to make sure, though, that those of you who really fuck with the show, and obviously I know you fuck with the show because you just don't make comments in the comment section, you come the right way as far as, man, you didn't gave me something that I feel is valuable, so I'm going to, you know, make sure the channel keeps going forward. We don't even have to talk about what YouTube is doing because we already know it by now. Um, so, when y'all show love like this, it needs to be shouted out. Um, if you new here on some shit, and you just don't know what's going on, um, every third Sunday, of course this is going to be but um, every third Sunday, we do this show, and that's for all the people who show love for those three weeks or so, four weeks, whatever the fuck, um, before we do the show, everybody who's shown love, whose name is in the cash app or the PayPal, they get shouted out. So if you want to be shouted out on a third Sunday, go there, show your love. If you want to leave a message, you want to have it read on the show, do that. And we rock out. Um, because I feel like it's needed. A lot of people that are doing YouTube, they don't have people who show this type of love. So I just, I, I gotta, you know what I'm saying, put it out there. It just is what it is. Um, let's get into it. All right. Uh, first one is Kelly Doswell. Kelly Doswell. Kelly Doswell does not leave a message, but she definitely showed love. Kelly, I appreciate that so much. Uh, it's a new name. Uh, I'm hoping that you're getting what you need out the channel, and I really appreciate that love. Oliver Davis, y'all know who that is, that's Swim fan. Oliver, he don't leave no message, but he definitely show love. Oliver, I appreciate that, my nigga, you know what it is. Uh, Raheem Jones, another habitual donator. Raheem, just show it love and get out of there. I appreciate it. Tyreek Pryor, Tyreek Pryor says, this is for the Men Too Movement, and my Instagram is Snob God. Okay. I see, my nigga, and I really do appreciate that, even though you know, we just took some bumps and bruises within the Men Too movement. We still, I'm still, I'm, and I, I've learned to stop saying we because obviously um, I don't have the support that I would want physically. Physical support, like physical saying that you're going to step out here with me and ready to go to jail with me. As crazy as that might sound, that's what we have to be prepared to do. If we want change, we have to be prepared for that, to go to jail. Um, if you're not willing to, you know, go to that link to make something like this change, like how fucked up it is, then we're not gonna get nowhere. So I really appreciate that, Tyree. Uh, Corey Williams, Corey Williams definitely showed love. Don't leave a message, but he showed love. Uh, Eric Price, 
a lot of new names on here. Eric Price. Eric Price doesn't leave a message, but he definitely showed love. Uh, Theron Blackman. Theron Blackman. Okay. And I think he probably wanted the Winning Streak song also. Y'all know if y'all want the Winning Streak song, all you got to do is send $2 to the PayPal or the Cash App. Say Winning Streak with your email address, and I'll send the song right to your email address. Uh, Winning Streak is an official theme song for the Big Facts Podcast. Really appreciate that there, Ron. Uh, Mew Hall Productions. Mew Hall Productions. No message, but they definitely show love. Ronnie Cullens. Ronnie Cullens is another habitual um, supporter. Um, don't say much. Just show love and get out of there. I really appreciate that, Ronnie. Uh, Erwin Vick. Erwin Vick came through big time. I appreciate that, Earl. That love. I think I think I've seen you before, also. Um, Oliver Davis, once again, swim fan, came through. Matt Haskins. Matt, what the word is? Matt. I think Matt been here since fucking 2007. I ain't gonna lie. I think Matt. The fuck is that? I feel like I got sandpaper on my fucking thumb. That nigga, goddamn Matt Haskins, been this motherfucker since goddamn 2017, nigga. Uh, I appreciate that, man. Uh, what's that? Uh, Crisis or Chris Chris Brown? Maybe I wrote that shit wrong. Crisis or Chris Brown? You know who you are. I appreciate that love. I appreciate that love. And I, because obviously, you know, Chris Brown was one of the people that I was saying, my nigga, I don't see why in the fuck. You're not getting behind the Men Too movement. You are a prime fucking target for these motherfuckers. If anybody should be a solid investor in the Men Too movement, it should be you. But keep rocking how you rock, my nigga. All good. I ain't tripping. Uh, Money on the track. Y'all know that's our personal producer. Not that he produces any tracks on the show, which I probably should. Money, hit me up, my nigga. Uh, we're going to try to get, because you, you done been supporting so much. Hit me up. Let's try to get one of your beats on the show and shit like that. I'm sure I can make that one of the, you know, the official beats of the, you know, stupid rappers or some shit. We can get it in here some type of way. You didn't show enough love, my nigga. But that's money on the track. Y'all make sure y'all look out for him if y'all see him. Clay Lamar, another habitual fucking supporter. Uh, Clay says, I'm from Duval, Florida. We know that. We know, Clay. We know. I appreciate that, though, my nigga. Real talk. Ranville King. Ranville King, um, I think what I'm supposed to do on this one, because he had a long message, I'm supposed to put his uh, message on the screen right now. Ramville, I appreciate that, my nigga. You already know what it is, my nigga. I already know. I appreciate it. All right. Wayne Connor. Wayne Connor. Another one. It said uh, Winning Street. Um, and I appreciate that, Wayne, for that little extra right there. Um, Kevin Saw Sauver. Kevin Sauver. And he says, keep striving, bro. One love. I appreciate that, Kevin. You already know I'm going to keep going. Trey Reed. Y'all know what the fuck it is. Trey said, I'm tuned in. Trey, you are, that's my nigga right there. Trey go hard. Uh, Edward Pierce. Edward Pierce says, Tuesday Gift. I appreciate that, Ed. That's a new name, so I definitely appreciate you, and I hope that you're getting everything that you need out of the uh, out of the show. Really appreciate that love. Uh, Darren Mackey. Darren Mackey says winning streak. Most oh, definitely. Most oh, definitely. Uh, Psych L, habitual supporter. No words, just come straight in and handle his business. I appreciate that, Psych. Uh, Chance Freeman. Oh, okay, Chance Freeman. That's uh that's Milk Tasty TV. Milk Tasty TV says um Milk Tasty TV with, with that AO Nation support. I appreciate that. My nigga Milk. That's Milk right there, dog. Uh, RJ. RJ says, 
How much for real ones? Okay, I, I know what you're talking about. Real ones is uh, one of the songs that um, I found, um, I think that's, that's an artist out of um, Texas that has that song. And he's trying to find out where the song at and all that shit like that. And I told the artist from Texas that we need to, you know what I'm saying, we need to probably get together and see what's going on and shit like that. Uh, but until he is ready to go forward, you know what I'm saying, uh, we're going to just hold that down. But um, obviously, you know, niggas like that song. Uh, we got Corey Cullier, another habitual supporter. Where's he at? Did I ever see his name? Somebody got Corey. But I, either way, Corey, I appreciate that, my nigga. Trey Reed again. Trey Reed said, I want that real one song. But he motherfuckers want that shit. RJ. RJ says, damn, you gonna make me beg for real ones? Boy, that nigga got him a hit on his hands. Boy, you got a real hit. These folk really want that shit. Uh, RJ, I appreciate that love. Uh, and as soon as that artist let me know that it's all good to, you know, let him put him out there, we're going to run. Uh, Jamal, Jamal says channel support. I appreciate that, Jamal. Real talk. Uh, Desmond Hay Hayes. Desmond Hayes says showing love. Keep it up, big home. You already know Desmond. I'm going to keep moving. That's a new name, too. Desmond, I hope that you continue to rock with it, my nigga. Sean Cole. Sean Cole says, love from California, Trump supporter, I fuck with you. Okay, okay. I don't know, you know, why you had to say you was a Trump supporter, but I mean, and I guess that's the thing about Trump supporter, they want you to know it. I guess that's, that's in a way, it could seem a little obnoxious. It's like, look at me, I'm a Trump supporter. It's like, all right, my nigga, like, it's kind of like, you know, the LGBT community, like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't, but I guess it's better for a motherfucker to let you know that. I'm trying to take this damn thing off. I guess it's better for a motherfucker to tell you that up front, other than you find out. Um, but either way, I don't give a fuck who the fuck you support. As long as you fuck with the channel enough to come through and fuck with us like this and support it, I'm with it, man. And that's Sean Cole. I think I've seen him already, too. Um, Darren Sampson, Darian, I think it's Darian. Y'all know Darian. That's big homie. He always gonna come through. He always gonna show love. Darian, you already know what it is, my nigga. Love, dog. And that's also a nigga that you will see on Facebook and shit like that. Always sharing the videos. Like when I'm talking about support on in, on all fronts, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Come to the, you know what I'm saying? Lives is always gonna be on the AO Nation donation conversation show always and also supporting it on social media. When you talk about supporters, that's what a supporter does. Period. Period. That's why I say, dog, I don't have to do you no know, a hundred thousand, a hundred million fucking, you know, subscribers or followers. Dog, you give me goddamn uh three hundred Darian Sampson's, nigga please. Nigga, this shit gonna be nigga, we won't even need Netflix. We wouldn't even have to pitch this shit to Zeus and shit like that, nigga. We'd be out this bitch. But Darren, I appreciate that shit, my nigga. You already know. Uh, Gerald. Gerald, uh, show love. Get out of there. No message. I appreciate that, Gerald. And love. Darian Sampson again. Then he just did. He just gave one of these. Tell y'all, dog. Like, that's... That's why last night, um, Melanie said... You got some real supporters. And it's like, that's AO Nation. Motherfuckers don't just talk about this shit, dog. It's real shit. All right, Lawrence Carter. Lawrence Carter says, music the KKK suit up to. You know what that is? On one, on one of the episodes, I think, of the Rap Trap, I said, these niggas is making the music that the fucking clan would suit up to. Kill a nigga, I'ma kill a nigga dead. <coughs> Give a fuck, y'all, excuse me. <coughs> y'all know I'm getting got fucking down to 50 degrees down this bitch, nigga. It's fucked up down here in Alabama. Um, but yeah, obviously the music these niggas making is music that 
people who don't like black people can definitely go around and hurt black people too because that's all you're not gonna hear any I'm gonna kill the Arabs, the Asians, the Jews, the fucking no, it's, I'm gonna kill niggas. It's crazy, but I, I really appreciate that launch. Uh Rashad Taylor. Rashad Taylor said not not on Patreon yet, but I be on my shit. Not on Patreon yet, bitch. But I be on my shit. Okay, Rashad. I don't know about the bitch part. He didn't, you didn't quite say bitch, but you said B I H. And uh, I mean, I guess that's how niggas be playing and shit. I never liked that, though. I'm be honest with you. Like, you know, what up, bitch? Shit, nigga, what up, bitch? I ain't never. I never really, I guess, obviously you understand it, but I ain't never really fuck with that shit because that, that, that's a word that, um, that is really, that's fighting words. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't really fuck with that. I don't really fuck with that. But I appreciate that love, my nigga. Real talk. Get on the Patreon. RJ, again, he says, I got five for that real ones. Please. I'm going to have to go talk to that nigga. I'm going to go holler at my nigga, dog. Because if niggas is on that shit like that, niggas is shooting this price up $5 for a single, begging for the song, nigga, please. I'm going to holler at him, dog. I got you, RJ. I got you. Um, send me your email address, RJ, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm going uh, to see what we got going on. Um, hit me up on Instagram. Make yourself known. Julius Smith. Julius Smith don't leave no message, but he definitely showed love. Julius, I appreciate that. You look to be new on here. Fuck with it, my nigga. We turned. We're very well lit. And I, I thought about that shit today when I was um, making a fucking sandwich. I was like, um, no, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't making a sandwich. I had just got the shower tonight. Uh, that's how tired I am. And um, I was thinking, I like, even though I don't do music no more like that, I still think of fucking metaphors for songs. And uh, I was like. We are very well lit and not, and we don't got no lights on. You know what I'm saying? We are very well lit, but we ain't got no lights on. You know what I'm saying? Or, and, and it was like, uh, uh, we're in a very well lit area, but ain't no lights on. So that'll be, y'all know what I'm saying. But appreciate that, Julius. James Gray, James Gray. Uh, sends his love and, and get out of there. James, I appreciate that, my nigga. Seeing a lot of new names, dog. Ryan Amy. Ryan Amy says, man, I'm on parole and my people stressing me. I feel you, my nigga. You gotta, you know what to do, man. Just, just keep your head down. If you need any just, you know, specific advice and shit like that, hit me on Instagram or something like that. Get up with me. I definitely, you know what I'm saying, speak to you. That's one thing about me. Um, I'm very easy to get in touch with. Um, I like I said, it's a blessing to now have uh, my intern, but I have not unleashed her on my um, inbox to where she'll answer all the fucking um, messages every morning or afternoon when I get up. I answer all of my DM, Facebook. Um, email and the uh, Instagram DM. So hit me up. I'm gonna hit you back. But like I said, we'll talk. We can speak. But hey, listen, for all you rap niggas, don't fucking don't make make it fuck. And that's what that's one reason why I don't want to allow any retarded motherfucker to make it to where the good people have to suffer. Like I'm telling you, hey man, don't don't ball my fucking you know inbox down because I, I like being real enough to answer everybody personally but a motherfucker will try to well firstly it ain't gonna be no one person that do it because if you do it I'm gonna block you but if then another person do it another person they, and it like there's a lot of people doing then I'll say all right I'm gonna let the intern do it but if it's just one person I'm not gonna let that one person fuck up everybody's shit so artists don't come in my inbox like hey man I fold the show dog 
and all that good shit in the end the whole time you just you just really want to send me your fucking video and shit like that if you want to talk about music you know I had a nigga man a couple weeks ago um, he wanted to get into the YouTube classes and he proved because I, I hadn't you know I don't I don't take calls unless through the DM got the money ready but on this one I said I right, you want to get into classes all right let me let me go ahead and you know I don't know what it was but it seemed like he was sincere he actually wanted to learn all good I was at that time I think I, I had I was in I was with four other people I think it was like three podcasters and one artist was, was in the class at that time so that means I got four people that I can be getting calls from at any time about, hey man, how do I do this? How do I, uh, how do I, you know what I'm saying? It's anything. And all of them was at different spots in their, you know, course, um, in the class. But niggas seem sincere and I was already, I'm already rolling in it. So it's like, fuck, like, I, I, it's, I got all these people asking about the class and uh, like YouTube and the apps and shit like that. What the fuck is one more? You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm in it. Like, it's not like I'm going into something different. You know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm, I'm in this shit right now. Um, so I said, fuck it. Um, let me see what the fuck uh, you got going on. What's your number? Um, oh, yeah, man. I get paid. Uh, <clears throat> I get paid. Um, I have everything on, uh, on Friday. And Friday come... And I, I don't think he called. I'm like, hey, my nigga, what's like? I ain't tripping on two hundred fifty dollars. But I'm saying, like, you, you said that you was going, and I'm, now I'm having to call you back on Saturday to see what's going on with you. Oh yeah, man. I, should, I was trying to, uh, but I, it, it's definitely gonna be next week, right? I, 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 on my on my babies. Next week come. It was gonna be Friday next week. Nothing. I ain't give him shit, so I ain't lose shit, but. He reminded me why it is I don't overexert myself and try to help a motherfucker. If you don't have the low prices that I'm asking for, because what I'm giving you is something that's going to last you for the rest of your fucking career. What I'm going to give you is going to connect you to the next step in your life, in your career. And I, he was a videographer. He was a videographer. No name videographer. He have shit going on. You uploading videos and niggas, you know, and he rap. He did music. Um, so he definitely needed it, but it was obvious that he had some drug issue. Um, I think over the phone, I can I think he said something about not having a car, some shit like that. But it's obvious this is why you don't have it because you don't know how to manage your money. He even talked to somebody, an artist I had dealt with. Uh, shout out to Y.L. Messino. Um, a while, maybe a whole year and a half ago, and YL had told him, hey man, that nigga is official. Um, so he already got everything understood that this is the real deal, this is what you need to fuck with, but you burnt a whole fucking bridge with pretty much the only person that can get you to the next level. What, what else can you do? You don't know how to work YouTube, you're shooting videos and spending your money on weed. How are you gonna get? The only way something different can happen is if you learn something different. You know how to shoot videos. You know how I many people shoot fucking videos to the point where motherfuckers is having to shoot videos for sixty-five dollars, and no motherfuckers look like could be on worlds. Like, come on, my nigga, it's the same shit. To, like videos is damn near like songs nowadays. You can record them hoes in your closet. And as long as that bitch got a straight little beat, motherfucker can hear potential and that shit'll fly. But that's but that's just letting you know that's why a nigga don't, you know, and it and they can say, well that you but that's the wrong people. No, 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 it ain't about no wrong people because in the beginning I didn't know that he didn't have, you know, a car, no shit like that. All I knew was you know the prices for the classes. Oh man, I'm with that. You're enthusiastic about it. All right, so I ain't really tripping. So hey, what's your number? Let's talk. Let me see where you at with this shit. Um, and nigga play. And that's just. I think he was in Atlanta too. He had to be, if you know why. But this is why. 
You understand? This is why it's business. Because that conversation, I think I talked to him three times. Like, that's time that I can't get back. You understand? I got an artist coming over in about 30 minutes. Um, as I'm shooting this right now, I'm always busy. So I don't have, so if there's ever a question of, you know, anything on anything, artists, people like that are the reason why. Because I don't know you, I have to think that you're just like them. I've had plenty of people flake out. Yeah, man, I got you on, oh, uh, I got you on, oh, no, we don't play that, my nigga. Don't hit me until you have cash in hand. And since I'm only asking for pennies, $250, $500, to change your life. This shit that I do for people changes careers. And the only reason it's so fucking cheap right now is because I I, I would I, I wanna say, oh man, I fuck with the people, I care about people, and that's, that's definitely not it. It's definitely not it. I just feel like I'm beating out the competition. I'm giving you insane level knowledge the only people that are competing with me are people that are in these fucking buildings i'm beating out the competition if you want what they have it's gonna cost you five racks and they probably won't even explain it as, as good as it as well as, as as in detail as i will i guarantee this shit is going to change your trajectory because once you have this knowledge and you understand the way YouTube works and how you are supposed to post things and how to get people to gravitate towards you, it changes everything. The, the biggest fuck up about any creator, whether you're a rapper, podcaster, video, whatever the fuck you do, is knowing what to do next. Once I tell you your 24 hour algorithm, 48 hour cycle, whichever one you're gonna fall into, um, how you should tag yours, how you should do your description box. What's gonna work with your, like what thumbnails are gonna work for your channel, how you should make your set. What your swagger should be, how long your video should be. Once you have this understanding, you're going to start the ball rolling and you see my fucking, uh, Numbers back there, you gotta excuse me. Like I said, I'm a little sick. Not a little sick, I'm not even gonna call it on myself. My numbers back there on that board show you that at that time, I only had 300 fucking subscribers. One channel, 300 subscribers. And that was March 17, 2018. I moved, I moved, I moved, I moved. I stayed on a consistent, and that was the whole thing, consistency. I knew what to drop. All you have to do is get that knowledge. And once you have that $500 to change your whole, are you serious? So that's why, like, nigga, if you, if you playing around with me, oh, nigga, you a bull, it's so simple to see. You a bullshitter. $500 to change, nigga, please. So it ain't, ain't no, you know, two ways about it. Um, but I say that all to say I'm extremely accessible. Um, with you having this situation, Ryan, um, being on parole, your people stressing you and shit like that, of course I can't. And it wouldn't do you no good for me to get, hey man, I got a nigga down here that you can stay with. Hey man, I got a bitch down there you can stay with. Hey man, I'm gonna shoot you goddamn. No. What? Because you're in a situation where you need I don't even want to call it advice, like really direction and guidance um, from someone who's really walked through that shit with no shoes on, barefoot, bare feet as they say down here in Alabama. We say in Alabama. So hit me up my nigga, this is me telling you hit me up. If you don't have social media, make one and hit me. Don't talk to me in the comment section, talk to me on the um behind closed doors all right cyrus chestnut 
And Ryan, I appreciate that so much for you being in that situation and still saying, you know what, I fuck with you so much, I'm gonna fuck with you on this level. So I really appreciate that. And that's another reason why I'm extending my hand and telling you, hit me up. Um, Cyrus Chestnut. Cyrus Chestnut says, me and two movies. Cyrus and everybody else who donated uh, uh, directly to the Men 2 movement, I appreciate y'all so much. And I really wish that I could, <laughs> I wish that numbers were not a part of this fucking war that we're fighting, but pretty much every war is, 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 is fought with numbers. Um, but what when y'all do support it, what that does for me is say, you know what? I do have people that I should still be walking for, walking for. So that means that I'm gonna walk as a representative, as, as an example of what a Men Too member is supposed to do and walk like. You'll see me around females, you'll see me in maybe even questionable areas, but it's, whenever you see me there, I'm there to teach. I'm there to show people I'm not there to, oh, they're really big deal. No, 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 no. I'm there for a reason. Uh, and I'm going to stand strong on not only the Men Too movement, being a leader, a fearless leader of it, but also on the three S's, just to show that it can be done. Um, a lot of people were talking about uh, the guest I had on yesterday's live. Shout out to Melanie uh, from uh, Multifaceted. Um, I think once you understand what you have, and, and really it's, it's second nature. You don't, you get to a certain point, uh, point in business, as far as business go, where you just, you can't, there's no way that you're gonna look at every female you come in contact with and look good as, ah, oh, this shit ain't happening, goddamn. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, um, I love, I love a natural black girl and all, I'm telling you all, it seems like all my best uh, experiences have come from brown skinned women, not light skinned, brown skinned women. Um, natural, I love it, I love it. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to act out of character. I think it's really important that y'all see that and understand that, uh, which is another reason why I not only wanted to have um, a lot of females around me, working with me, but physically around so that y'all, like, you don't have to focus on you, your goals. Don't overcomplicate an already complicated situation which is your success your life is pretty much as it is it's designed for you not to be successful um, of course you were put here to succeed and, and flourish but then you come to this evil place that the powers that be control and it's designed at that point for you not to be successful, but for you to fail. Um, and you overcomplicate that by bringing someone else in that has a whole nother bubble of emotions. You know, I, I, like I said, man, I, it is the, the, the mood swings and emotions I go through daily, I could not imagine if there were, it was a person here instead of dogs. You know what I'm saying? I, I just said that yesterday, I think I said, um, you know, crazy women have cats, crazy men have dogs. Um, I don't know, man, I, you know. <laughs> I told my, I told my dog, man, I said, hey, you know, like, if you really gonna try to do something in life, you gonna have to drop that bitch. You gonna have to drop that bitch, my nigga, like, and, that sounds, it sounds, I'm telling you what it sounds like. It sounds fucked up and it, and it, 
what a bitch will do to a nigga mind is instead of her looking at what that friend is trying to do for his friend, she'll be selfish and say, oh, he must be gay or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing personal to whatever girl that it, that my friend may be with, but it's like there is no way that you can be in two places at once. Both of these things require a hundred percent of your attention. Period. Point blank. A girl needs your attention. This thing right here, whatever business is your baby. Your, so it can be your, your, your food stand, it can be your podcast, your rap career, your fucking stock portfolio, whatever the fuck. Your startup is your fucking baby. It's not, I work eight hours, take my at home. Hell no. This shit is 24 hours every day. It does not stop. I never stop working. I go to sleep, right back at it. Go to sleep. I, I never stop working. Because I want a lot. If I wanted, you know, like I said, dog, I, I've said this before. Uh, I call it the SpongeBob, you know, mindset. The, the SpongeBob mentality. SpongeBob is living his fucking dream. Like, why can't I have that mindset? I just want shit. I just... My dream is just, I want to fucking cut grass, man. Shit, man. I want to cut grass. Like, I want to cut grass as bad as I want to drive a fucking Ferrari. You know, I want to have Conseco on the back of a fucking Lamborghini. <laughs> Those are my goals. I want, I want stuff like that. I want, I want big shit. I want... You know what I'm saying? And I can't buy one Ferrari until I have enough money to buy two. So with those kind of goals, there is no fucking way I'm going to be able to live a regular life, which is have a girl, have, you know, this, having this, you know, this, all this. No, ain't none of that shit. Yeah, you know, we must go we're going on vacation. What? I can't please you. I'm not even pleasing myself. I'm, I'm just a fucking vessel that my mind is using to get to its destination, that my soul is using to get to the destination. What's to say that once I get there, I'll be like, man, this shit ain't shit, which it probably will be, but I'm just so fucking dead focused on getting there. I cannot just be some everyday normal nigga. What, what motherfucker is? Yeah, like nobody even knew that you were here. You lived, you died, nobody gives a fuck. You didn't do anything. Yeah, you know, what's what going on with goddamn uh, Bobo? Shit, you know, that nigga, he just chilling, shit, you know, working, shit, holding it down, just got a family, got him a good, shit like that. He, that, that nigga, shit, that nigga cooler, bro. And that's what happened, dog. We go to, we get, like, we get in the street, whatever, like that. We got all the fire in us. Then we go to prison. We get locked up. And that shit knocked all the fire out of us to where we just cool with being just nothing. We have no more fight in us. I'm going to, but I'm, I'm just telling y'all, man, like, that, that's my mindset, dog. And that's the type of fire that I have. The devil, like, had me for, you know, over half a decade just lost out there. But I, I still had, even when I was out there retarded, I was still trying to make something happen. But once I woke up out of that fucking slumber and I realized how much time I lost, it's like, dog, I cannot play with anything. I don't have any time to play a lollygag. I have to go. I've lost so, and that's what I'm saying. All you artists that are over 25, dog, it's pretty much already over for you. If you're already, if you're older than 30, you probably should quit doing music. But if you are going to do music, my nigga, you can't have anything. You have to be, nigga, out here in front of the, you have to be 
over so over the top motivated and driven that there won't if you over 30 and you're trying to do music and you don't have a name my nigga you have to be at the fucking gas station you have to be every fucking where doing everything there like, you can't be over 30 and like yeah i'm just i'm just what but that's that's a whole nother video um as we do every third sunday uh, as I do every third Sunday, I really like I, I did. We understand it. I can't. I, there are no words that I can say, dog, of how thrilled I am of how much that y'all are fucking with this goddamn situation that I put down. It's insane. Period. Um, this type of shit really makes me. Because, like I said, it's, nigga, if it, I, this shit wouldn't, there's no way with with the YouTube shit, like, with them cutting everything off, there's no way the show can do anything without this, without y'all. Like, it's, it's understood at this point. Um, it makes me want to, you know, um, say, I right, we're going to have a meet and greet. But it's like, I want to go everywhere that y'all are, and obviously I can't. Um... So I, you know, so a nigga wanna just say fuck it, let's just have it in Atlanta somewhere. But like, why Atlanta? Why would we do Atlanta? But I guess Atlanta because it's more shit to do. Cause I do wanna go out with y'all, and I, I've, I've never been a big drinker and shit like that. So I feel like on that one night, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some shots. Um, we're gonna take some shots, and we're going to celebrate. Us being together, we're gonna to make that a night that's memorable. We're gonna have Ubers. We're gonna have a fucking, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, everybody gonna be at the hotel, and on that night, on that night, um, it's gonna be a night to remember. So on that night, if like, um, can't do no drugs, obviously, but on that night, the three S's won't be in effect it's that because we're celebrating on that night so obviously it's not gonna be solitude because we're gonna be around people so we're not gonna be uh sober because we might drink a little something we're not gonna do drugs though now if you can't drink because you're so fucked up like you're, you're um you're at a point in your recovery to where you can't um or if you can't hold your liquor and that's why I so I probably need to think about this shit before I say it. Uh, I might need to cut.